Hey, what is up? It's Caleb from Caleb the Video Maker 2. This is going to continue your create table video for SQL Server. Now, so far, we are in the process of making this animals table. And you can see here, it's there's a little red squiggly saying this table already exists. So I already created this table. So that means when I run this command, it's not going to work. Oh, see, it didn't work. Like I said, gosh, if you just trusted me. Ah, oh, so now you might be thinking, how in the world am I supposed to change this darn table? Well, you can't just go in here and change things. For example, this was originally 50 and I changed it to 30. Well, that's just not going to work. So there's two options on how you can do this. The first is alter the table. And then the second is drop the table and recreate it. Altering the table is a little bit more complex, and that's actually something we are going to cover in a lot of depth in the upcoming videos. But for now, I think the easiest way is to drop the table and recreate it. So the term drop means to delete. So we are just essentially getting rid of the entire table. This is different than just deleting the data in the table. It's going to delete the entire thing. So what that means is all of your data in the table is going to be utterly destroyed. <laughs> so make sure you look through the data, make sure there's nothing important, and if needed, you can back up the table or whatever, but we'll deal with that in another video. We don't have anything in this table, so it's not essential that we worry about the data. So the command to do this is very simple. All you say is drop table animals. Now the thing here is that we want to make sure we're talking about the right database. You can see here this is on master again, which is kind of annoying that it goes back to that a lot of the time, but just make sure you are on the correct database or things aren't going to work out right. So we are going to drop this table. That's all you have to put. You don't have to put parentheses or pass anything into this. You can think of it as just a modification of the create table because it's kind of the same create table animals, drop table animals. So let's run this. And it works. And now that's going to allow us to go in here and edit things. So we can make this 20 characters, for example. And you can see it allows us to recreate that table. So this is pretty cool. We can, you know, delete things and recreate them. <laughs> but now if we try to run this drop table command, see what happens. Oh, yeah, it's going to work because I just recreated the table. But let's run it again. <laughs> okay, there. It does not exist or you do not have permission. So now this is giving us a problem. So you kind of have to check to see if the table exists. You have to run this and then if it works, you drop the table. If it doesn't work, then you need to create the table. Essentially, it's super annoying. <laughs> it would be nice if we could do some kind of if statement saying, hey, if this table does exist, drop it. If not, don't worry about it. And that's actually very easy to do in SQL Server. All you got to do is go after this drop table and say if exists. That's literally all you have to do. So now I can take literally the entire script and just run the whole thing and you can see it works. And if we drop that table and then run the whole thing again, you can see it still works. So what's going on is it goes here and it says drop table if exists. It checks if it exists and it doesn't, so it doesn't drop it. And then it moves on to the create table. So that is how you can do that conditionally. That'll improve your scripting and you don't have to worry about executing sections like this or having errors show up here annoyingly. <laughs> That's all guys, hopefully that was helpful. And in the next video, we'll be covering something pretty delicious. So I will see you then. <laughs> Thanks guys. Oh, and be sure to click like and subscribe.